So I've been wanting to do the 30 day lipstick challenge for a while now. Essentially, in a nutshell, all the challenges is you pick 30 different lipsticks, you wear a different lipstick every day for 30 days, and you just document it. I know this is quite popular on Instagram, but I have seen a few videos on YouTube documenting it. So what I decided to do, um, I'm going to break up the 30 days, well technically I think there's 31, but I'm breaking up the challenge into four videos. It's going to be a week of lipsticks per video so it doesn't get too repetitive and kind of boring seeing 30 lipsticks all in one video. So I'm going to show you the first seven and then I will give a swatch of all of the lipsticks on my hand here when the video is over and you can compare them on the skin to one another. So I will cut to day number one right now. So this is actually day one of the 30 day lipstick challenge and I'm in the car. I'm headed down to my hometown and I have the dogs right here so you can hear them breathing. So day one lipstick is actually going to be a YSL Rouge Volupte. This is in number one. I believe it's called Nude Beige. So let me just toss this one on really quick. That's what it looks like there. I'm just using the viewfinder so hopefully it's applied straight. I can fix it later if it's not. So that is day number one, YSL Rouge Volupte in Nude Beige. It is actually day two and I've already messed up on showing you at the beginning of the day me applying the lipstick. Um, we just had dinner, it's the, at the end of the night and I'm showing you day two's lipstick. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper in the shade number 25, Lust for Blush. Let me show you really quick what this looks like on. This lighting isn't the best, but it'll it'll work. So it's a very pale, kind of like a nudie pink color. And again, this is day two lipstick. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper lipstick in the shade Lust for Blush. I'm going to be wearing a Rimmel lipstick today. This is the Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick in the shade 101. This is in my Finish 13 by Halloween. And it's just kind of like a standard medium neutral pink shade, so I'll apply this really quick. So I took off my glasses so, you, so there wasn't a glare, but this is the shade 101. This is day five, I believe. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Matte Blushing Pout Lipstick, and let me apply it really quick. This is one of their matte ones. It's kind of more of like a silicone-y, satiny matte, I feel like. I don't feel like it's a true matte, but we'll, we'll apply it anyway. Kind of botched the application, but I don't know. This is what blushing pout looks like on the lips, and that's it for today. I believe it's day five. I am wearing Max Snob lipstick, and I'm crazy shaky. I apologize for that. This is actually at the end of the day. I meant to reapply it in the car for you guys before I went to an appointment and I completely forgot to bring it. So this is Snob right here. I haven't worn it in a very long time. This used to be one of my top, probably top five, top three favorite lipsticks from MAC. So it's like a cool tone pink color. I swear this is like my third tube of this lipstick, so really like this and I'll probably repurchase it again after I go through this. That's what I have left in this one. So anyway, this was Max Snob. I believe it is day six. <laughs> um, I am actually wearing the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Patina. I am not a fan of uh, matte liquid lipsticks, but I figured I would test this out. This just showed up in my August Birch box. I just filmed that video actually, so no, I didn't do a 
I didn't film me applying this to my lips, but I was quite surprised with how much darker this came out on my lips, you know, compared to what it looks like in the container. I thought it would be a super pale, kind of pinky nude kind of color, but it's quite dark. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know about this one so much, but this is day six, the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina. Today I have the MAC lipstick in Cream Cup. This is a cream sheen formula, so it's not going to be a matte. It's one of my all-time favorite kind of nudie pink colors that is not drying. It's quite moisturizing actually, so I'm going to quickly apply this. Okay, so there you can see it on my lips. Like I said, it kind of has a satiny finish to it. Uh, slightly glossy, but like I said, one of my all-time favorite lipsticks, and this is about my second or third tube. I really can't remember at this point, but really love this color, and I highly recommend this from MAC. So that was Cream Cup. So here are all seven of the lipsticks swatched out. This first one here, this is the YSL Rouge Volupte in Nude Beige. This is Maybelline's Color Whisper in Lust for Blush. It's a bit sheer and very shiny as you can see. Then the Rimmel Lasting Finish lipstick in number 101 really like that one. This one has a little bit more purple in it. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Blushing Pout. Then there is MAC Snob. I know in the video it looked more blue, but that I think that was just the fluorescent lighting looking a little odd. Here is Stila's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. This one is obviously the darkest out of them all and the most matte. And then the last one here on the end was Max Cream Sheen Lipstick in Cream Cup. I did notice that the majority of these lipsticks in that first week were more of like a nude, nudie pink sort of shade. And I did try to mix it up a little bit more over the next couple of weeks with the lipsticks. So. so anyway, there were the first seven lipsticks and you can kind of see their finishes and how they compare to each other right there. 